What's up? Hi everyone. Sky King here. Did you know that? Did you know that my name is Sky King? And did you know that I'm here? It is Tuesday. It's the beginning of a new week. Is it a great week? Not really. Work pisses me off. But I'm here with you guys now, so now I'm going to be happier. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Zarly. Hello, everyone. We're going to be making the Sky King signs today. Um, I said I was going to do... An, I said in, in the Discord that we we're going to work on Riften signs or something, but now I've decided that I'm going to be doing... Riverwood, because I was just like, maybe I'll just get Riverwood knocked out before the stream. But then it took me longer because even after five, I had to go back and do some more work. So that's just what I've been doing. Is working on the, uh, is working on that crap. You know how that goes, right? So anyway, how are you? How are you? I hope you're well. I'm doing all right. Like I said, just the standard issue of just bleh, for work. But aside from that, it's okay. Besides that, it's okay. Right now, I'm going to wait for a couple people to get in here and see if we can knock some of this crap out. Yes, working on signs. What the hell? Chart error, were you the one who said that you wanted solitude signs? I can't remember who it was who said that. Oh, let me do this other cool thing. Forgot. Let me do this real quick. running behind just <clears throat> technical issues because that happens here we are purple you want all the signs yeah <laughs> I, I, I can understand that I can understand that hopefully we'll have A lot of our normal friends coming in today. We can only hope. Who we got? We got Volter. Hello. Good to see you. Chris, good to see you. Is it Pokemon Day? I have never played. No, when I was a kid, I played a lot of Pokemon. I, I, I have not played this in for free. I, I, I'm so out of playing Pokemon. Like I could, I can't even remember how to play it. Can't even remember. I should probably try again, you know? I don't know if I need another addiction though. That's the that's the only thing. The addiction is real. The addiction is real. I'm just trying to get this set up so I can turn the game cam on for you guys. There we go. 
All right. Oh God, I don't, I don't uh, know. <laughs> We're talking like original Game Boy days, you know, original Game Boy days. That's how long that was. I think this says the over it, but I'm not sure, but I'm gonna put it anyway, cause I like the idea of having that there. Like that. Let's do 50 and 50. Yeah, all right. here. Save as a copy. So, let me guide you through what I've done here. I went into Blender, and I made a new mesh for this. Um, I kept this, this, and this. I kept these metal bits, but I remade these chains, because before they were just 2D pictures. And then, of course, made these chains here and the new ring around the top. And then I went ahead and set it all up with all the havoc and everything set up in Nifscope. So the mesh is good to go. And now I'm just making the textures for this. Um, the metal, I'm pretty happy with. I'm fine with the metal. Uh, I'm working on the wood part. So um, I am aware of what the wood looks like. So. <laughs> Just to let you know, don't need everybody being like, let's do this with the wood. It's like, I, I know what the wood looks like, but thank you. Um, right now, I want to get this taken care of, this wood bit taken care of here. So, I might, yeah. A little bit of that. Cool. All right, so that's gonna be our Riverwood Trader. Now, the only issue that I'm having is the wood texture that I'm using, and it's a little crazy. You can play ROM hacks of the original with some new stuff thrown in, kind of like a modded version. How did you like going to Japan? Was that fun? I bet you had fun. Sounds like you had fun. Let's see if I can do this. Cool. There we go. Something like that. I might do this a different way. This is correct here. This is fine. That's whatever. I'm just gonna blow this up just like a little bit, like 1.1. And I would just like to slide it over if I could. OK. 
Can I? Here we go. Now, if I could only... And that does it this way. Which is not what I want. I want it to go down. Hmm. Damn. And tiling seems to be the only way. But I can't get it centered just the way I want it. is my only issue. Like, I just need it like 0.1 times bigger. That's all I need. Please. Is that possible to do? Doesn't seem like it. So I might have to just mess with this in the shops of photo and see if that'll work for me. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this. Dude, Japan was awesome. I saw a lot of Tokyo and would have liked to see more of the country, but I still had a blast. I would love to go again with a better group and visit different areas. Yeah, that'd be pretty fun. Um, just go alone. Screw different. Just screw going with people. Just be like, I'm going by my damn self. Do what I want to do. You ever watch that show only, um, only in Japan or something? Whatever it's called. It's a pretty cool show. Pretty cool show. I want to see... Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do this real quick. Merge layers. Merge on the network. Sing a nerve gas. Let's take this and let's doctor this up a little bit here. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what this looks like before we do that then. Set this to overlay in about, oh, I don't know, here. Let's save that. For some reason it keeps going to PSD every time I want to save this, so I've got to like change the file type, do this, do that. Let me change up this normal. I won't worry about the alpha right now. Yeah, we gotta to touch those sides up. But aside from that, I really like the way it looks. You know? I like the way it looks, but we're just gonna touch these sides up, I think. And that should help us. And I was gonna do like a metal border on this thing, but I think I might just do all wood. I don't know. I don't know. Should I do wood sides or should I do like a metal frame on this? I think I might do a metal frame and that would actually help us out here. Let's try this. Let's try that. I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of all this. Dink, 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 dink. Um, so, um, let's do something up here. And I'm just going to go, bam. No, I'm going to do like 150. Just like that. Okay. Um, Actually, what I could do 
take that out. Do this with a stroke on the inside, set to 150. This will be a lot cleaner. Let's do that. Cool. Cool. I'm gonna rasterize this layer. Where is it? Rasterize layer style. And then I'm gonna select this, go up here and paint it purple, purple. And um, that should do that. So I'll go ahead and save this out. Save as a campy. This is good. Um, desktop, PNG. Sorry, I gotta get my head back into modding here. And this back up to around 70. Um, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna do, um, let's put these up like 75. Cool. And I'm going to just do this. I'll save as a copy. Desktop, PNG, boom, boom. Yes. Oh, we got to do a couple of things here. We got to do a couple of things. Hold on. So I need to do what? I'm going to take this and just pop this bad boy in here. And I need a, oh, about a 90. And I'm going to set this to about a 50, roughly. Yeah, cool. Bink, 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 bink. And I'm going to paint this right here on a new layer, maybe about 35-ish. No, let's do it this way. Cool, and then I'm going to do an inner shadow. Not that much. Not like that. Cool. Hey, Thomas. Uh, yeah, it would be fun going it alone. It wasn't hard to communicate with the locals and everyone was really nice and helpful. I was just saying group because I went with a church on a mission. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's that's actually better. Yeah. Metal Corner says, Volter, I like it. I like it. That's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do now then is on here, I'm going to just put some like bolts on this thing. Right? So just like, I don't know, like here. Maybe I'll, I'll make these bolts a little bit smaller, just so they'll fit a little bit better. I don't like things too close to the edge, right? But I'm just gonna like put some bolts like here on these corners like this. I'm literally just eyeballing it. I don't remember if I put one in the middle or not, but I'm going to. Just like that. Cool. So that's going to be the sign here. And then this is the border on the out. This is the border here, right? So I need to take that, these guys, and put them at also at 150 so they match the border around the sign. I don't want that height, that normal map discrepancy. Cool. There we go. So I'm going to do a file save as a copy to our desktop with a PNG here. Save, bada bing, bada boom. Okay. And then in here, we'll load up that new height right here. There it is. And here we're going to change our ID map. Boom. How's that? So much cooler looking. Yeah, that's so much cooler looking. And now I'm gonna hit export again. Yeah, this is already better looking. I'm gonna put it here, pop this here. Boom, cool. Rasterize and then this goes down here. And I'm gonna do a multiply. That's fun. And then I'm going to select 
all of this metal parts here. Let's merge. And I'm just going to darken them up just a wee bit here, like that. This I'm gonna to set to overlay. And I'm also going to drop a shadow. Not that big. About like that. Yeah, cool. So now it looks like metal bolts. That's what we want. Um, here, I'm going to select this, create a new layer, paint this in. I'm gonna do a fill of zero. I'm gonna do an inner shadow on this too. Let's do an inner shadow here. Something like that. Cool. We'll save that. Color and alpha. And then here, we're gonna take just this. I'm gonna get rid of all of that. Rasterize these. Green channel invert. And then we'll take our alpha, pop it here, and just rotate this here, about like that. Cool. Save. I'm gonna find a linear. And now let's see what it looks like. Oh, cool. How's that? I do think that the metal frame makes it look cooler. I am missing this little dot right here. Yeah, that is fancy, huh? Where's my cool little dot? Do I just not get one today? It's supposed to be right here. Um, oh, maybe it's supposed to be on that. Let me see. Yeah, it's supposed to be right there. Shit. But that's okay, because that's easy to do. I knew I was missing one. Let's do 40. Thirty. Cool. Nice. Take off this drop shadow. Actually, let's do it in white. White, please. There we go. Take this out. We're going to just do one more rip of this, and we should be good to go. Think. Let me do a couple of things here. Let me turn the stroke on. Don't need to do anything but change the height map. There we are. Oh, did I turn the um, shadow on? Yeah, let's turn that off. When I have the drop shadow in the height map, it does this like weird beveling thing around the bolts and I don't want that. There we go. Cool. And then we'll just do another burn. Jazzy J. Jazzy J, hello. We are lucky tonight to be blessed with Jazzy J. Do that, that, that. R merge. I'm always looking for rasterize. 
And then this, I'm gonna to set to an overlay with our drop shadow. That's an overlay. And pull that back a wee bit. Um, I think we can probably pull this down some. About like that. Okay. So that's good. I'll go ahead. Oh, wait, cancel. This needs to be a little bit bigger. Like that. Can I make it darker? Get some contrast in there is what I'm looking for, for the letters. Okay, that's cool. And here, again, we are going to darken this up a little bit. And save that out. Here we go. And then one more time, do this. Nice. So now we have our little cool dot here. And I forgot to turn my drop shadow back on. No, I did. Let's do more of it. I want a lot of it. No. Yes. Not getting enough of the shadow around the bolty doos like I want. But the metal looks good. Can I please get some more shadow around the bolts? I feel like something's covering it up or something. It should be like black. That should be black. Oh, because that's set to overlay. There we go. Let's do that. There's our black. Thank you. There we go. better. Well, lads and ladles, I think that's pretty good. Black shadow bolts. <laughs> Cool, so I'm going to, I don't know, that doesn't really need to be saved. Um, what I'm going to do is just shrink all of this. Where am I saving this to? Okay, cool. So we don't need to save anything here. I'm pretty happy with how this looks. So I'm gonna close this out, nope. And then I'm gonna open this up here. And I have my Riverwood Trader sign here. Where I'm gonna load in all of those things. Cool, so my UV, my ID, and my height map is right there. That's all I really care about. And then I wanna just take these, copy that, and put this in vanilla signs. Textures, clutter, signage, Riverwood, Yup. 
And then here, I'm gonna go into my meshes. Riverwood, Riverwood Trader. And that is our sign. But what we need to do is we need to fix our texture maps, maps because we should not be, it should all be purple. So I'm gonna just go through here real quick and do that real quick. What is this? Texture set 65. What is this? This should be a texture set 65 also. And now I can do a block and remove these guys. Actually, let me do that again. No. Let's try this one more time. Let me make sure my collision, let me make sure this is the right one here. It is, okay, cool. So this should be, what is this texture set? 65? Lighting shady property should be 65. Cool. So now if I change one, it should change all of them. Just makes life easier for me. Since we're pulling it all from one texture, you know? Just hit save real quick here. Cool. Block, remove branch. Block, remove branch. Cool. So now that's ready to go. So I can get out of here, copy this, and we can open up our vanilla folder. This I don't need open. So let's open up our vanilla folder here and just go into my meshes, Riverwood, paste it. And then here, textures, clutter, signage, Riverwood. I just need this Riverwood Trader ones. Paste those there. Cool. Let's go check it out in game. Hey, Brandy. Hey, Thomas. Hello, Thunder. Are we doing our Ask I King tonight? I can't remember if we did it on Thursday or not. I cannot remember. Okay. So I'm happy with the wood sign. The wood sign is so much better than what it is on vanilla and Smim and all the other t sign mods. It's just, it's such a weird janky mesh. And I was like, we're redoing that. And then static mesh improvement mod chains are like 50,000 polygons. So I redid the chains. I actually just took the vanilla mesh. There we are, look at that. How cool. Yeah. That's a cool, that's a cool sign. What can I say? I think that one's done. See how it blows in the wind? Yeah, I like that. Everyone loves it. Good. That's what I like to see. Yeah, that is really nice. That is really nice. And when you bump into it, it responds accordingly in a very nice way. Too bad this sign is only used in one place in the whole game. That is nice. I have no complaints. Um, 
it is weird how this bottom area is like shaded weird. You know? It's like has this weird like like it's bowed in or something. I don't know what's going on with that or why it's doing that, but it is doing it. It's not in the normal map. I don't know where it is. It's not in the mesh. So I don't know what the deal is with it. But I don't know and I don't really feel like messing with it. That'll be our next one here. So, um, let me take you guys around the block. Uh, yeah, it'll take place of any Scott, any sign mod that you have, to be honest. So let's check this out. I'll just TFC my way around. First and foremost, we have Radiant Raiment's sign here with some nice, it, it looks like the vanilla sign, but instead of like, the vanilla sign was really ugly. So I changed this out to do this. Um, I really like this sign a lot. Yeah, it's nice. I like the bold colors. I, I'm not been doing bold colors on signs, but this really, the bold colors in this really worked. So that's why I did it. Um, here we have the Winking Skeever sign. Uh, it's pretty much exactly like vanilla, except the winking skeever looks better. Um, it, it looks really close to the way vanilla looks. And I just used a possum. And I should have made its feet dark, but I did not make its feet dark because I messed up. But now you know. The feet should be dark and not the same color as fur because they're not furry. It should be the same color as the tail. But whatever. <clears throat> Nobody will notice. I'll notice. Over here, uh, uh, your standard pawn shop sign, but this has colors on the top, the red and blue. I don't know what that, why Solitude gets that, but Solitude gets that. Um, your standard apothecary signage here. Um, here we have our good old blacksmith sign, which is as it should be. Yep. And then here we have our Fletcher sign. And I... I kind of wish that I would put a black line around this banner, but I don't think anybody ca would care. I don't think anybody cares. I don't think anybody cares. The arrows don't have a black line, and I tried it, and I didn't like the black line around the arrows, so that's why I didn't do it. Anyway, um, so that's all the signs here. Pretty uh, standard stuff there. Um, let's see. Uh, Windhelm. You've seen all of Windhelm. It's done. Uh, let's do this. So, White Run. We have the Drunken Huntsman, which looks really close to vanilla. Um, I think the, the lettering is a little different. Um, like, I didn't try to copy fonts, but... Um, I tried to keep the vanilla sign designs the same. So that's pretty much stock. Then here we have, again, our standard pawn shop sign. Yep. And standard issue apothecary sign. And then we have the bannered mayor sign, which I think looks pretty dope. Um, no, Zarlek. Um, they didn't get bigger because the there was... They, they would start moving into other things. So there you go. Bannered mayor sign. Uh, I think that's all the signs in White Run. I think that's all of the signs. Oh, yep. Yeah. And then again, blacksmith sign. So if you've downloaded the blacksmith mod that I made, um, all of these wood posts are like not, they don't match the architecture and I have fixed that since then. So I need to re-release the blacksmith sign mod, but not really worried about that right now. What else is there? Um, Riften's not done yet. Windhelm, you've seen Riverwood, you've seen Solitude, Whiterun, you've seen all of the farmhouse stuff, um, all of like the ends around they're all done and I posted pictures of those on discord but I'm not going to take you around to 12 different fucking ends right now um, I think my favorite one if I have to 
have a favorite, if I'm forced to have a favorite, I think it's Night Gate Inn. I think the Night Gate Inn is the coolest sign. Which is this bad boy right here. I just think that's a really cool sign. And I like it. It was the easiest one to make. But it just looks the coolest. In my opinion. Was there a fat cat? There's a fat cat. Where are you going, fat cat? It's dangerous out there. Yeah. Um... I don't know. Does anybody have any favorite signs they would like to see? Like, boy, I'd like to see that sign remade. If there is one, tell me now or forever hold thine peace. Is there a sign that you wish that you could see? So many emails from Uber. Everybody just loves it. Okay, so nobody wants to see any signs in particular. Got it. Oh, I'm TFC'd. I never know what the point of this inn is, other than probably just, like, help you stay somewhere in between two large locations. But, like, nothing ever goes on here. It is the most boring place, and there's never anyone inside. Fishery, we haven't done rifting yet. There's like, see, no bard. No nothing. No chairs. It's the most lamest inn in Skyrim. This is a lame-ass inn. It needs some JK love. Unless this is JK love. If so, it's sad. But, I mean, there needs to be like a party up in here. Um, the other really lame inn is Old Herolden. Um, Old Herolden is a pretty lame inn. But it too has a sign. It looks just like vanilla, except for the font. But that's how vanilla looks. But yeah. Oh, does he? That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know Tiberius Septim stayed here. He stayed in this very bed, from what I hear. And if you spend the night, you get to meet someone special. Oh no, I'm not going to do that. I'll leave that for somebody with more time on their hands. Alright. So, I meant to quit, not quick save. So, uh, I'm pretty good here with the uh, Riverwood Trader sign. Is everybody else happy with the Riverwood Trader sign? Good. Um, cancel. Let me do file save as. I'm just going to do like... Hello, Leo. Yeah, I really like this a lot. I think it's cool. That shading is so weird. Let me look at this real quick here. No, it should just be standard fucking issue. Like, there should be nothing crazy about this sign at all. Like, let me see if, I don't know, let me see. What is this? Vertex, UVs, normal changes and colors. This is spec to Z buffer test. 
Switch back to Z buffer test. Z buffer right, environmental light fade. This doesn't have any vertex colors, so it doesn't really need that. Yeah, I mean, it's all, this is all bullshit standard. So I don't understand. I don't need any of this. Yeah, don't need any of that. So I don't know why it's doing this weird shady thing. Actually, it's, it's not even doing it in here. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm out. Close. It could be a time of day thing. I don't know. Possibly. Possibly from the poll. Um, okay. So let me let me check some stuff here real quick. I'm gonna do no game. Gotta make sure the OneDrive is closed. Thank you. All right. Let us look into doing, so we have options. Everyone, we have options. We can do Rift in or we can do the Sleeping Giant in. Which one do you wanna do? You let me know and we will go and do that. I've got, so I ordered Uber Eats just for fun, right? And you get like six or seven emails as receipts. It's like the CVS of, of receipts. Since we're on the no game scene here, I will go ahead and show you our guest of honor. Right there he is. Everybody always wants to know where this boy is, and there he is. That's where he is, sleeping on the couch. B and Barb. Okay, we're gonna do some rifting. We're gonna do the rifting. So let's open this crap up. Signage rifting. We really don't have that much to do. Um, three main signs. Pretty bog standard. I got my Envato open up here on the right so I can pull some clip art off of it to help me out. So first step, I'm gonna resize these to 2048. Are we doing the orphanage sign? Cool. <laughs> hey, Grit, they're all talking about you, Bubba. He has a new song. He has a new song now. Um, Look at Grit, that little shit. He's too much to believe. You know, he always has a pack of cigarettes rolled up in his t-shirt sleeve. He's got a tattoo on his arm that says, baby. He's got another one that just says, hey. Look at Grit, that little shit in a 57 Chevrolet. Meow, 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 meow. He likes his new theme song. Jim Croce, by the way. Jim Croce. All right, let me get this over here. Here we go. Yeah, they the, all of the cats have like multiple songs. Multiple songs. They enjoy them. Let me see. Do I have any cool fish hook clip art? Clip art for my fish hook. P 
please. Sometimes Envato is like really great for some things and not good for other things. And sometimes the Adobe is better. And I can't show you my dashboard on Envato because it has all my personal information on there. And fuck you, you're not going to get that. Because y'all are crazy people. Y'all are crazy. And I'm not going to deal with you. I wonder... Do a tattoo on a non-sphinx cat? Oh, well, you'd have to shave Grit first. You'd have to shave his arms. And then give him a tattoo that says, hey. This is my... I'm not speaking from experience. I'm just... I'm just guessing. Now, will you come back with bloody nubs? That is the question. And the answer is yes. Yes, you will. Um, you're probably not going to survive that. To be honest. Knowing Grit. So far, he's already sent one person to the hospital. I am just going to paint strings. I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to like just paint, paint it away. Yeah. All right. So let's save this image. And let's get ourselves a B. Yeah, that's pretty good. But not what I'm looking for here. Yeah. This one. B. And now I need like this cool, uh, let's find like Celtic knot corner. Cause I think I can work with that, right? I think I can work with that. Um, Y'all just gotta bear with me. I'm sorry I can't share my screen. But like I said, y'all are jacked up people and I don't trust any of you. We need a shrine of grit in Skyrim. Yeah, uh, the, P the PlayStation actions from Envato are sick. I've gotten so many things for Da Vinci, Resolve, um, uh, Photoshop brushes, um, like you mentioned, the actions and stuff, great video clips. Um, in fact, my whole Ask Sky King is pretty much all from Envato. But I really, really do like it a lot. I'm going to take this and I might just play it safe with this other knot real quick here in case this one doesn't work. It's always good to have like multiple ones. Oh, that might be fun to use. Let's try that one. Okay. So I'm just going to exit out here so I can say that I'm done. All right. Let's open things up. We're going to start with the BM Barb. And I'm just going to open all of these. There we go. And I'm going to do a color overlay of black. Hello. Fuck it. Here, I'll just do it like this then. I'm gonna play hardball. Oops, I just fucked up. 
There we go. What are you doing? New. Do this. Merge. Will that work? Christ, all Friday. Okay. So this, I'm going to put here. I want to see if I can angle this in a way to where I can make a cool circle out of it. Huh? Step one. Let's see if I can do something like this. Let me do... I know I should probably be doing this on the actual template, but I'm going to do it here because it's easier. Okay. Now I'm going to get this. Create a new layer. Oops. That's not even centered. Yeah? Not even centered. That's interesting. So I'm going to raise this up here. Of course, it's not centered because you got text at the bottom. So I'll just eyeball it. Just going to eyeball and take colors. That's not going to work. Do it like this. Select, modify, contract. It's like 20. Let's try 40. Cool. That works. Give it a stroke of black. Outside of like 5. Come on now. Outside normal black I'll set this to 10 mm, 7 yeah 7 is cool alright that works so now that I have that I can now figure this out let's start transforming this guy and working him out That's going to be about the right size. See how I'm going to do it? I have to study the knot. Be the knot. Where's my eraser? Knots are sometimes really funky, like to wrap my head around. They give me a headache. So I'm going to take out this. Very carefully with the brush. You know what? Maybe the pen tool will be better. Uh, make selection. Cool. And take it out through here. Okay.
make selection, delete, cool. And then I'm going to remove it from here. A lot of dedication goes into making this mod. Taking our time. Make selection, delete. Here, I am just going to do that. Make selection, okay, and delete. Cool. So now, get ourselves a brush here. Smoothing, and we'll draw this out. Is it perfect? No. Are we putting it on wood and then aging the shit out of it? Yes. So does it matter? No. Then here, I shall... I don't know why I have a hard time finding things right today. My brain's just zonked from work. Like, I have been more creative today, like, with work. And not even, like, creative, just, like, dummy shit. And I'm like, I can't think. Do you have those days where you're like, I'm done? I almost didn't stream. I was almost just like, fuck it. Fuck it. Okay. So, what I want... If this will work. After all of that, will this work? That's a good question. So if I have this about... Here. Like that. And... I'm going to take this... This, this. Give me a lighter color, please. Hope this will work. Nah, it's not going to work. Son of a bitch. So instead, I think I'm going to try this guy out. Um, let's do a color overlay here. Rasterize that. Is this going to be a mod that gives signs to places? No. This is the this is a sign replacement mod. Hence why we're doing the um the B and Barb. Let's rotate this guy like so. So I'm thinking, if I could get this centered, like that, it's not really like doing what I want it to do. Not doing what I want it to do. So I think we'll play it safe. I think this one I can definitely get it done with.
I do rasterize that? There we go. I want to do. What do I want to do? I want to do that. No. Um, select inverse. Like this. Really? You want to be like that? Why would you do it like that? Back to Envato. I gotta get something that's more rounded. Try this one. That can go away. Where'd you go? There you are. I did a color overlay on you. So this has two. And that's fine. I think what I'm going to do is just shorten these up. that cool that'll be fine I <clears throat> think we can scale this down a wee bit like that cool and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get rid of this guy I'm not gonna need it just do a new blank here because I'm gonna need this whole thing. Cancel. I need this whole thing. Please. Let's start here. We're gonna do absolute circle. Take our guy. Let's find out where he centers it at. Out here. Not right there. Cool. Perfect. Take it from the corners. And do it again. And then we'll stroke here a little bit more. Like that. Good. Um, here, I'm going to rasterize that, and let's say, hmm, from here, let me do this, there we go, that gives me a much better look. that. 
let's put that back. Give me this. Put this behind. Because then I can always stay in the lines. Oops. That's fine. Put it back behind this too then. merge hmm doesn't like the mergey dues so we'll just do it this way I'll take off the smoothing get a bigger brush not that big this big and we'll just do it ourselves Should have went ahead and just done it in the green, but we'll change it. Being gray makes it a little tougher, but it's okay. Cool. Not the neatest of lines, but I'm okay with that. If we want it to be neater, we can do that. that for anybody that's bothering like me There we are. I'm just going to call that fine. And we've connected a circle to a Celtic freaking knot. Jeez, let me turn the stream back on here. Okay. So, with this, I'm going to just select inside here. Hopefully it will let me. And be pretty cool about it. It might not be. But I'll see. I'm going to do this real quick. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Cool. So that I'm fine with. And here I can now select this color. And in here, I'll take this and just pop that like that. And call it. I'm fine with this. Should the um, not be on the inside? Absolutely. Is it? No. Next up, because it's supposed to act like a fucking knot. Damn me. Whatever. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll just oversize the hook. Right? Ooh, that is oversized. Thank you, Envato. For making it my life easier actually and let us do horizontal and then a rotate do I know I can right click you don't have to tell me like that put it behind like so let's fix this rotation Uh, actually, better here, like that. 
do it like that. That's actually almost freaking perfect. It's almost lining up with this knot exactly like I want it to. Yes. Good. Now, where's my fucking bee? Here's my fucking bee. Boom. Transform and scale. I could put him here, which is kind of cute and fun. Um, because I didn't angle... Actually, it's a circle. Still might be a little too... A little too angled. <laughs> so yeah, no. Let's um let's do it like that. I like it. I like th this this I like this look better. So we're gonna get our vertical sign right here. I'm gonna steal all of the stuff that we've done by just selecting the layers and copying. Transform scale. And Put it somewhere. Where are we at? Put it at the top. So I'm going to try and get it between like that right there. So I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit. About right here. Seems fine. That's fine. And I'm going to make all of these overlaid. You might be like, oh, that's really dark. And it is. Um, and that's okay that it's dark. It's perfectly fine. I'm going to take um, this B and I'm going to cut it out of here. And then I'm going to take this knot, cut it out of the hook. Like that. Good. And then I'm going to open... Eh. Just do it here. File open. Get this. Pop that right there. And connect. Merge. And now I will take all of this and just copy. Oops. And overlay. Really? You're that dark, huh? All right, let's put these in a folder. Let's add a brightness contrast to the folder and we can just go pull it up. And now I can adjust this green color. So I'm gonna pull that down. And here I'm gonna do a color overlay set to overlay. And we're gonna choose a green that we like. that I'm gonna choose that green this hook I'm gonna do curves to it and just go like that because that works um, we can also um, blur it out and now we can do a color overlay set to overlay and you should be set to normal all of these should be set to normal now, actually. I forgot. Because we set the... We can set this to overlay. Cool. So now I can do a color overlay here. And find another color for our hook. We could do a silver. Nah, I'll do a black. There we go. Like 
like that. Um, let's give it a stroke. Let's give it a stroke. I like to do that. I'm going to use something like this. Put you here. There you go. This B needs to have a little less saturation. Like that. So that would be like our B and Barb sign. I think that looks okay. What do y'all think? Is that good? I think that's okay. Let's get this B up, raise just a hair up here. And then here I'm going to remove this and now re-add it here like that. Um, don't worry about that bit. Okay. This is pretty cool. I might... That stroke is a bit thick. So I'm going to just go like... About like that. Cool. Might darken the stroke up a wee bit. I don't like any... I don't want anything to catch my eye. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want anything to catch the eye. Not what I'm looking for. And looking at this, I want something here. I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to paint um, black here. Put black here. Oops. There we go. That's better. Makes that shit pop. And I'm going to do the same here with this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do copy layer style and paste this layer style. No, I'm not. What did I just do? This one. Paste this layer style. Thank you. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. Now, let's see what kind of font we're working here with. Again, I really don't care. I'm going to get rid of these because I don't want them open, taking up all of my tabs. Okay. So, our font is just kind of just standard fucking bullshit font. Barb. Okay. And we're not doing it that way. We're doing it this way. Cool. And let's transform and scale that shit. There we go. Now... I want copy layer style, paste layer style, oh, copy, paste, cool, and then I'm going to stroke, black stroke here, just a little desaturated a wee bit here. Alright. So basically we got the letters and everything in, so that's fine with me. All I want to do now is like just select all of these by holding control and shift. Okay. Like that. And then we take our paint layer up here. Control C, control shift V. And now we have paint overlaying all of it. 
Um, the issue is that it's not getting the strokes. But right now, I just want to like just test these and just see how it all fucking looks real quick first. That's all I really kind of care about. Yeah, fine with that. So I'm going to go ahead and rasterize the layer styles and the types. Because I'm cool with it. Okay. All of these need to be rasterized. Everything needs to be set to overlay, and it is. Let's do that one more time here. Now it's pulled in the strokes, and that's good. So I think I'm gonna work on this BM Barb real quick here with some curve action. I don't need to, to, to do that. I want it to be less. I don't know what I'm wanting it to do. I'm gonna be honest with you. It needs to do something different. Let's do it like that. Let's do it like that. That's fine. Um, these rings can all be merged. And I'm going to do kind of like the same thing, but I think I'm just going to do like just a desat on it a little bit. Like that. Fine. Everything else is cool. This here. Mm -mm. Bit of that. This BM Barb, I'm still not happy with the BM Barb here. It just doesn't seem like it's... Let's do this. Let's double it up. Yeah, that's better. It's like almost too transparent, but also too colorful. That's almost perfect. Cool. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to age it. So I'm going to get, I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna to go to our vertical ensign and get our height map or gloss map, sorry. I'm just gonna paste that right there. And then we work our levels. You gotta balance it because you don't want like too much aging but you want like enough, right? Like that. I'm gonna select our color range, choose black, turn this off. I'm gonna invert my selection and then go to the group folder and just hit the mask button. And then we're gonna copy that, go to our paint layer and do the same thing. And there you go, boys and girls. There's your B and Barb sign. Night, Zarlek. I love you. We okay with this? You can say no, it's perfectly fine. Chardero says nice. Best thing to do, let's go right in here. Ah, let me close this. I'm going to open up um, this vertical sign right here. OK, 
because we got to get a normal map for it. Now in here, I'm going to do something real quick because I'm tired of this shit. Treasure shots four. Thank you. All right. That should help me out, save me some time. So if we go in here, we go to our desktop, vanilla signs, textures, da 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 dump, Riften. Boom. Leo says, outline a little less bright. Okay. So select modify contract by three. Select inverse. Image adjustment brightness. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I was on the wrong one. <laughs> it's like, really, you're just not gonna do anything. There you go. Is that a little bit better for you? Or you want it even darker? Like that. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's better. A lot much nicer now, says Leo. Cool. All right, so if y'all like that, then we'll be good with it. Both sides of the sign are good. Everything else is looking correct. I'm good with that. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your um, dynamics when you interact with the signs a lot better and how to make them blow in the wind. Okay. Super easy. You click this. Well, actually let's do this correctly. Open up your desktop. Let's go. And we got to open up the vanilla mesh. Okay. So we're going to get our BN Barb sign. Where is it? It's right here. Okay. So here's the OG B and Barb sign. Very nasty sign. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this flags number because I always forget to, and I'm just gonna remove this branch real quick. Number five and I node is what we're looking at here. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna copy branch. We just click on our sign and hit copy branch. Go in here under NI node block paste branch and now our sign is over here i'm going to do that for all of the chains block copy branch block paste branch so what's going to happen is is all the attributes of the old sign like swinging and stuff will be retained okay last one copy branch block paste branch. Now, this is our in-game sign right here. Now, when I modeled these signs, I used the original post as my guide, so it should all pop up fine, okay? So everything is fine, everything's centered, we're good. Now, this has one collision object. For this, this and I know, there's a collision object for the, the wood log, but we're not gonna worry about that. We only wanna worry about this blue box. 
Okay. So we're going to take this collision object header right here, and we're going to go to the BHK rigid body. And down here under body flags, you can't really see, but it's right here under, under my picture. Change it to a one. Body flags is wind. That's all it does. I don't know why they call it body flags and not wind, but there it is. Okay. Um, so change body flags to one. Next up, I'm going to do this. Let me see if I can do my um, this and this and just slide this shit over here just for right now. So you can see. Next up is the mass. Mass is exactly what it sounds like. Right now it's at five, which is really, really, really super light. Like you touch it and the, and the sign just goes flipping. So we're gonna change that to 50. Experiment, I do 50 for the wood, 75 for metal, but experiment. See which one you think looks more realistic. Um, next, we're gonna go to the convex vertices and shapes. If you see right here, um, the sign is default set to heavy metal. And we're gonna scroll to the top and just set it to wood because that's what the fuck it is. Uh, lastly, we're going to go here and the minimum and max angle, we're gonna to change to 1 million. Negative 1 million, sorry. All right, and that's, that's the sign, right? All we have to do right now is just go here into this shader stuff and just change, take out this C drive aspect. Oops. And we gotta do that to all of these. Or else when you share this mod with other people, it's gonna be looking on a desktop somewhere and the textures won't be there. I have done this before. I have shared mods where they're like, hey, this is going to your, it's, for some reason, this mesh is looking for some something in your desktop. And I'm like, yeah, sorry about that. So we're gonna go to the shader texture sets for all of the little meshes here. And, and just get rid of that beginning part. There we go. And then we can just hit save. And that's it. Exit out of here. If we shrink this and we get rid of this, uh, here's this. And now I can go into my game folder and paste the mesh. Yep. And then we can go into textures, clutter, center, Riften. Open up our other folder. Textures, Riften. Take these two, paste them. So now we've moved our mesh and our textures into our mod folder in Mod Organizer 2 to test it. In Photoshop, we only have these two left to do and all of Riften will be done after these two. Um, we can do the orphanage sign. I don't know what it looks like, to be honest with you. If you guys know, let me know. I do want to do a huge shout out to everybody. Say thank you for joining my stream tonight. It's been fun hanging out for this past hour and a half. Um, hit the like button for me, please. And I'll love you even more. If that's even a possibility. But yeah, hit the like button for me. I might stream Wednesday night. I might stream Wednesday night if y'all are around. Hey, bruv. Oh, where's this place at? Here it is. You see how it blows in the wind? Not bad. Where's like a good sunlight? Is there any sunlight in here? Is there ever sunlight in Riften?
Hello, question. Is YouTube messed up or is something bad on my side? I can't find the like button. All I see below the stream is videos. I don't know. Thank you very much, Earshot. So are we happy with this? Tell me now. Ugh. Where's Vixie at? I've not seen her in a minute. Ooh. You like it? Chardero likes it. So I guess we're good. Oh, we also did um, this sign. Um, for some reason, this sign gets like a different look to it than the other pawn shop signs. I'm trying to get some like sunlight up in this bitch. Sunlight does not exist in Riften. Weird. Any other different signs? No. We just have this guy. But yeah, the pawn shop sign in here is a different is different than all the other ones. What does this look like? Metal. It's just fucking metal sign. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I think we can do that. Let's change the fucking. You, we can change the font of this, by the way. I think it's just a billboard. Is it? No, it's a mesh. Okay. Yeah, if y'all are happy with this, then I'm fucking happy with it. I just don't want people to be like, after I make it, and then people come back, ugh, ugh, you know. You're like, god damn it, I've already closed Photoshop. Now I've got to redo all that hour of work again. <laughs> you know? You're just like, that sucks. I don't need the... I'm going to keep it open. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do that at all. All right, next up we have our sideways sign. So I'm going to go ahead and open desktop the sideways horizontal end sign right here. Okay, well then I'm going to close it, then fuck it. Um, I can close that. I'm going to take this just because I know I'll need it. Oh, what do we got here? Welcome to the party, Mr. Superstar Spartan Man. Welcome to the party. This is a happening place. Okay. Let's do this. Let's try this on for some. I don't remember if we did this on Thursday or night, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I'm still getting receipts for Uber Eats, by the way. <laughs> so let's take a gander at what's happening in the next eye. Let me close that shit. Let me close that shit. Here we go. <sighs> Bruv, I don't know what to tell you, baby. Let me let me check it for you here, okay? Mmm, on PC, I do see the like button. And I liked my own video, by the way. So, I do see it on PC. Let's look at the Nexus, everyone. Again, I don't know how many comments are going to be in here. I think we did this on Thursday, but what the fuck ever, right? So who cares? I don't care. It's Tuesday. I really don't care. I'm worn out. Let's go. So front page. 
Uh, some J Serpa stuff. So this NPCs take cover. Pretty cool stuff here. By the way, make sure that you read the requirements. Spell perk item distributor is required, which also requires address library and power of threes tweaks, which this requires address library, which is fine. Okay. So power three tweaks, address library, spell perk. So you need all these mods to play this one mod. Isn't that some bullshit? Like this mod's like, well, you only have one requirement, but it's like, yeah, that one requirement has three requirements. Anyway, you need these four mods to play this one mod. Um, honestly, you should probably have power of threes tweaks and address library. Honestly, you should have at least address library already. But this is pretty cool. So you can't just sit there and like get on top of a rock and just cheesy spam arrows into a crowd of NPCs as they stand there going, huh, huh? Uh, that's a pretty cool mod, all right? So check that out. Um, Frost visual effects edit. That's cool. Um, some armor, some armor. Animated carriage, don't know what this is. Nordic Winds, uh, another sound thing by Clofus. And uh, NPCs now travel by carriage on the road. So I guess just here and here. In two locations. No. Is it really just here and here? I don't know. Okay, so he only did it from, no. I'm good. Okay. Uh, what else do we got here? Um, nothing that I'm seeing that's like awesome or anything like that right now. Okay, moving on. Fantasia. Green Tundra, more Fantasia, Lods, AIO, Green Tundra. Let's check that out. Um, this one, this one. Oh, we already did Fantasia Landscape, sorry. Um, this one. This one. Okay, so blacksmith, the blacksmith sign. So I released this mod basically, and I put it on the discord, but it's basically just kind of like a little teaser, like, hey, look what, this is This is one sign out of many that's coming, right? So, um, just kind of give you a taste. Do you remember what I said in the stream? Do y'all remember what I said in the stream about when I was talking about writing on a sign, do you remember when I said, I don't want to write on a sign? Sorry, I got dust on my camera here. I didn't want to write on a sign because then international people would be like, would you redo this in my language? Well, first off, I wanted to show you, this is the vanilla sign right here. And if you see in the vanilla sign, it says blacksmith. So I'm literally just kind of following what's in vanilla by making blacksmith on the sign. Literally, that's just how, how, how it is in vanilla. Well, the international people said, would I consider a multilingual sign? Right there. So I say, how multilingual? There are 7,151 recognized languages on this planet. Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta narrow it down for me, buddy. You know, like one. And so he just wrote, sorry. And I'm like, no, no, no. You just gotta tell me the fucking language. And he goes, so this person says, Gab here says, 
I think removing the writing might solve the multilingual problem. Well, yes, it would. But then now we're no longer lore friendly to the game because the game has blacksmith on the sign. Nobody wrote Bethesda going, can you remake the blacksmith sign with a different language on it? So this guy wants, <laughs> what's your idea? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This would be the best option for removing all of the titles. So now just remove all of the text. These people are like making decisions like Republicans. They're just like, wipe it all out. Just get rid of all of it. So then, so he goes, so he rewrites a comment here at the top. Amazing high quality, but it's better to remove the titles. It's better to remove the titles to avoid the language barrier. And I go, it's not better <laughs> because the vanilla sign has it. And he just goes, anyway, thank you. Well, no, no. <laughs> like convince me. Anyway, everyone else seems to like it. That's, I, I didn't really get that many comments on it, really. And nobody really fucking downloaded it, which is perfectly fine because I'm going to come out with a sign mod anyway. But I just found that really fucking hilarious. So when this mod comes out with all of the N signs saying the name of the N on the sign, somebody's going to comment going, can you remake all of these signs in a different language for me? Here we go. It's kind of a landscape texture overhaul. Does my mod touch anything related to shadow marks? Um, that's a good question. And I don't think I've been asked that before. Maybe I have, I think I have been, but I think it was on a city mod, not the AIO. I didn't do any of the shadow sign textures. And now that I think about it, I wonder why I didn't. Um, it seems like a really good thing to have done with the shadow marks, right? Nobody in my chat, nobody in my discord ever goes, Hey, Sky King, would you please retexture the shadow marks? I don't know why I never thought to do it. Anyway, uh, he was just having some problems with it. And he thought, and it was a good question to ask because it is good to assume that the AI, that Skyline AIO probably did them, but I didn't. Um, love it. Can, can they use this with a noble Skyrim? Yes, you can. All right. Next. Fantasia. Um, I think I will have a try with this mod. I'm already using Skyline AIO. I will reinstall it. Disabling the features covered by this mod. Honestly, I would just keep AIO the same and just put this over it. Unless you're like killing for hard drive space, just install Fantasia over it. Um, does this replace the same? Um, I think of our, no. Does this replace all the same landscape textures in Skyland? Is there any point to me loading Skyland before this mod? Should I remove Skyland landscapes altogether? Thank you so much. Um, so Oh wait, DLC, I forgot. Um, is the DLC in Skyland Landscapes? I think so, right? Yes. No, is it? I don't know. Um, I'll just say that. I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> Thank you for this great mod. You're welcome. Um, yeah. Uh, there was one that ha I had a bug somewhere. No. Okay. Um, is a, um, <laughs> when was this yesterday? So this person says, um, Hello, greatly appreciate the mod uh, Skyline Green Tundra. Really beautifies the whole Tundra, thank you. I wanted to ask if, do I have a patch? Do I have a patch for Skyland Green Tundra to work with open cities? Think about this. They in no way They relate 
in no way. Next, Skyland Lodge. Is this the one with the bug? No. This guy is thankful for it. Is this the one with the bug? No. Is, is Skyland AIO compatible with Northern Roads? Is anything really compatible with Northern Roads? Is anything fully compatible? Here, I posted a screenshot of the Bannered Mare sign, and uh, we got some uh, good comments. Everybody seems to like it, and we got 72 updutes on it and 532 views. So I'm happy that people seem to be excited about this mod. The refinery. Y'all remember the refinery mod where I did all of the ingots and ores and ore veins? Awesome work, thanks. There you go. Thank you. I thought I had another. I thought I had more. Log in. I thought I had. I knew I had a bug report. And now I can't seem to find it. It might have been Fantasia. Nope. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. Let's see. Hold on a second. Here we go. Um, where are we at? Somebody commented on the Angus's house. Thank you. Granite Mountains. Cool. Here we go. This one. Anything else? No. Okay. Angus's house. Uh, is there a COC location? So, COC location. Uh, COC AJMR to go inside Angus's house from anywhere. Um. Uh, Granite Mountains. Uh, everybody seems to like the tan. Everybody likes tan. This guy tried every mountain mod and he's decided that Granite Mountains is the best. Skyland Bits and Bobs. So this guy, I don't know what he's done here, but he has this issue with the healing spell tome. And so I went and got the healing. Oh, I went and got the healing spell tome and took a picture of it. And I don't have the issue. So um, they did. They never responded. So I guess I'm closing this. Um, I think what it is, I think I think they might have like a book mesh issue. I think they have a, some mod adding book meshes and changing paths. So when that happens, bad things happen. Um, this is why I don't like mods that change texture paths. So that's the thing. And then this guy was just like, whatever. Oh, Mr. DIY, he just took his comment out. I guess he put it here first. So I'll just hide that comment. There you go. So that was the, that was the bug report. And, um, and that's a, uh, If I'd seen it before, but I'm about to go check it out. Uh, well, Chris, if you have Skyline AIO, then you don't need it because it's in Skyline AIO. Um, so, yeah, you don't have to worry about that at all. At all, really. It's all good. Okay, so what are we working on? We're working on the fishery. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up some... Um, I'm just going to see if I can find like some Celtic fucking knots here on, on Envato marketplace and just see what 
is going on. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I've seen so many freaking Celtic knots making these stupid signs. And I'm just like, wow. Wow. Um, you would think there'd be like a fish, a fish hook for this one, considering that, um, you know, it's fish, but nah, can't, can't be bothered with that. We already have a fish hook in the other sign. You just think that like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I wonder I'm going to I'm going to I don't know. Let's try this. Let's try this. I'm going to do this real quick. Oh yeah, they kind of do look like it, don't they? They kind of do. They really don't have any Celtic fish on. Oh. That's kind of cool. I can't really find what I'm looking for today. That's pretty nifty. I shall save this image. Um, I'll just do this. We might be changing this sign up a good bit. <laughs> I'm be honest with you. We might be changing this sign up a bit here. Too small, too busy, don't like it, not cool, looks too like, like a tribal tattoo, which we really don't want. I'm sorry if you have a tribal tattoo, by the way, and I've just offended you, but no. Um, that's cool, but I'd like to find a bigger version of it. Do you have one, Envato? Please tell me you do. Do you or don't you? Because then I could just do that in, like, a ring and call it a day. Which I will do that here. Where is it? 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 Here we go. That's cool. I want to know if that's any bigger. Back up. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Cool. All right, so that's fun. Got that taken care of. And I've got a new boom arm coming in tomorrow. Oh, I've already saved that. I've already saved it. I've already, what am I doing here? All right, moving on. So I've got a new boom arm coming in tomorrow and I'm super stoked for this, by the way. Um, it's going to go under the monitor and just come up right here. So I'm not going to have to worry about this and like looking around the microphone to see my screen. So that's why I'm going to stream tomorrow night so I can show it off. <laughs> I 
All right. Um, let's just take these two. Fuck it. I'm just gonna take these two. This guy. And let's do select color range here. Oh, nope, here. And then select inverse and copy and paste. Nope. Let's do it here. Thank you. So let's turn this off. Let's turn this off. Let's get this squared away. So I'm just gonna like, I don't know, something that's kind of like in the center ish. We can make that a little bigger. I might get like a different ring. Let me see what the fishery looks like. Fishery at the top. Okay. So maybe a different ring will be good. We need something like this. I'm going to use my tried and true Celtic ring that I've used on like every single sign. Let's take this select image size. I mean, select color range here, select inverse, copy, paste. Let's get rid of this one in this guy. I like to do this, get my paint bucket and just paint, paint. It's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit nice, nicer, you know, scale. Put this down here and roughly in the center. Give enough room to where I can say fishery over it. About right here. Yep, cool. And then I'll take my fish. So these fish are weird, but they're very much in the same kind of art style. So that's fun. Select inverse, copy and paste, get rid of that, and just go. Put them right here in the ring. Transform and scale. That's uh, pretty good. Just like that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to copy one of the colors from the fish. We can do this blue, I think is fine. We'll do a color overlay with that blue. Oh, why didn't it do it? Because it's set to overlay. That's a bit much. Let's try the green. I don't like the contrast. We're trying to, you know, make shit match. Okay, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to select the circle and I'm going to center it. Well, I'm going to get the center point of it. Um, so as I pull my pants up because they're falling down, um, the there is a trick about how to get some nice text writing on a spline. Do you know how to do this? I will show you how to do this. Brandy, do you know how to do this? Here we go. So get your shape. I'm choosing a circle, but you can do a, a pin line. You can do whatever you want. Hold shift and alt and just bring this out a wee bit like that. Okay, so now we have a shape. You get your text tool, click it, and then click on, sorry, click on your shape line. And now, as you can see, you can write on the shape, right? So we're just gonna say fishery. Is it F, F I S H E R Y? Yep. That's how you write it. Let's choose a different font. We did this for the last sign. That's pretty good. That's okay. It's got to be kind of bold, you know? 
So let's do this. Let's do something like like this about here. Font size way up. Like like this. Boom. Now I can get rid of that. And I am going to do a color overlay of dark blue. And a stroke of light blue. Normal. Like that. Fishery. Pretty good. So now I can throw these into a folder, set the folder to overlay. Boom. Turn this guy on. Oops. Not there. Up here. Duplicate him. Let's pull this down. There we go. Merge. And then we select all of this. We cut it out and we say overlay. One thing that we didn't do correctly is I need to rasterize this. There we go. Overlay. There we go. A fishery sign. Now on our folder, we can do some cool stuff. First off, I'm just going to just kind of desaturate it a little bit. And then we can do a brightness, darkness type of thing. Like that. Okay. In my folder, I'm going to go to the fishies. Do another saturation just for the fishies because they're a little bit overpowering for my ring I'm going to saturate this up a wee bit because I don't want just white right do something like that no a little brighter like that cool for this I'm gonna do this and select modify contract actually let's do this um shit give me this real quick I want this color go and then I'm gonna do select um, and uh, select modify contract like three now we'll do five delete that out there we go just adds a little bit more to it you know that uh, there cool it's just a little something something I'm gonna do a color balance and I'm gonna remove some of that green oh, it won't let me shadows green there we go just just a touch cool does that look good everybody likes this Um, yeah, I can do that. So let's do, I'm going to do, yeah, let's do it like this way instead. There you go. It's a bit closer at that point. Okay. 
There you go. The blues on the fish are now matching the blues on the letters. Okay, and now I'm going to get file open, horizontal sign. We'll get this guy. I'm gonna close all this shit. Get this, paste that, put it up here. And let's get our relicking. Something like that. Turn this off. I'll put it here. And then we need to invert that. Take that, put it here. There we go. There is your fishery sign. By the way, Granite Mountains is my new favorite texture mod. Yeah, Fantasia has that. Just different textures. You know, different textures, of course. So are we happy? I feel like fishery could just be a little darker. Like I want it to just pop a little harder. Right? There we go. Something like that. Yeah, I'm good with this. I'm not waiting on y'all. I like it. Rift and fishery. Yes, replace it, please. Oh, I have it open. Sorry. Go away. I'll well, save as a copy. Desktop. Vanilla signs. Textures. Rift and fishery uh yeah color um i'm gonna open up this horizontal ensign and this this file save as a copy desktop vanilla signs rifton this one Final linear. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I thought about doing that, Randy. Um, I'll show you what it looks like because we can do that. So here we'll just do this hue saturation. Um, we can set it to colorize and we can pump that up like that. And then. Yeah, I don't think I'm too much a fan of the yellow, but it was a good suggestion considering that it's a contrast to blue. Um, like orange. Orange works with blue. But I think... Keeping it this way is the better way. I think this way is going to be the better way. Personally. Um, so with the outline of the letters, these guys, if we did a color overlay on them and like, so yeah, that works. I mean, that looks good. I think I like the light better though. I think I like the white better personally. Yeah. I mean, it looks cool, but the thing is. And here's, here's the reason, here's the reason why I went with the white outline, um, because the letters are dark. So if you do the letters, if you do this, the stroke in black like that, then I would go opposite world and do something like that. Right. You got to do the contrast between the stroke and the body fill of the letters. And now fishery just kind of, I, I don't know. I mean, I think it looks good, but it all kind of looks monotone, I think, to me personally, as opposed to this, 
It just has, it's like, it's a nice two-tone, I think. Like, I think that's a nice, I think that's a nice two-tone look. Um, with the ring, though, like with this guy, you could probably get away with doing a, um, a stroke on it. Let me do it like this. Um, select inverse. We'll create a new layer. And then I'll take the fill off, but just put a stroke on it. You could probably get away with that. That That's pretty good looking, huh? Copy layer style, paste layer style. Oops. Just do it this way. You know, I like that too. If you wanted to make the black lines consistent, which I think I do. I think I want to do that. I like that. I pull this back a wee bit. Like that. Right there. Um this here. Now what if I did a second stroke on this? Where is it? Cancel. Yeah, right? Didn't it doesn't wanna it doesn't wanna give me a stroke over there it is. Hey, that's fun. Let's do that. Let's do that. I like that. Just more detail. I'm okay with this. Let me just opacity out a little bit more. Like that. Same thing here. No. Here. Just a little bit. Cool. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Let's do that. And that's all we got to do. And I'm closing it. We spelled it right? F-I-S-H-E-R-Y? Yes. Okay. Go away. Goodbye. Goodbye. So, all we have is the Black Briar Meadery. Um, Black Briar Meadery. Now, I did something cool for this way back in the day. Um, and I kind of fucked myself on it. I want to see if I can find the... I'm seeing if I can find it in, um... In Discord. Damn it. Uh, let me just type in mead in the Discord here. Can't seem to find it, even though I found it quite easily yesterday. Now I can't find it at all. Jesus. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Open this in browser. Here. I'll just zoom way the fuck in. So I made something really cool, and I'm thinking about... I want to... Oh, no, 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 no. Where's it at? Let's do it. Let's do it this way. Black briar textures, clutter, signage, riften. Is this what I'm looking for? No. Ingredients. 
Um, where's my like big label? Let me open this in Photoshop. No, not what I'm looking for. Where is the label I made? Where's the label I made? Let's go and find it here. So, um, I just go to my mods. I can find it quicker this way. Do, 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 do. Where is my here? Files download complete. Thank you. Go away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here. Here. Textures. Clutter. Beer label. Is this one it? Yes. This is what I want for the sign. Is that not a cool freaking label? Like... The blood, you know, it kind of it's kind of like plays on like the story of the Black Briars being like very evil people. So I wanted to make a very evil logo that was like kind of attractive, but like evil. That's a pretty evil fucking logo. But I leave it up to you guys. What do you think? Does that look badass? I mean. Comp like compare like okay so you can see what what I did I still have the thorn circle and I still have the beer mug right but I was like I wanted something that was like um yeah throw the bees on it we got to throw the bees on it but what I wanted was something that was like Disney Evil Queen logo if like a, a if if the Evil Queen from Cinderella started a meadery what would her um, logo B, you know, something like this, I was thinking. So, that was my thinking. Um, let me see if I can go back to Envato here and see if I can find that same, find some of these same ones here. I am hope I can. Where's it at? Where's it at? Ah, I'm gonna have to just make it. That's how this is going to come down. It's going to come down to me just having to fucking make it. Which is fine. I can, I don't, I don't, I don't mind. Because I'm, I don't, I'm not seeing it in like, finding it would be very hard. So... That might be a little difficult. Let's take this one. 
and then I'm gonna do I oh, mean I might just I might just trace this all right so let's do that that's gonna be a lot freaking easier let's first cut this out and hello um, cut this out and here we're gonna get our I think this is the straight sign I'm using here so I'm gonna I'm, I gotta double check it so let me open up my folder I think this is straight sign does this look right so I can use straight sign or I can use fantasy sign Which one's better for Blackbriar Meadery? Which one do you want to use? Do you want to use the one on the left or the one on the right? Thank you. The, the, the original one looks like an old lady pillow. <laughs> looks like something you would see on an old lady pillow. Night, Jazzy J. Love ya. Um, so the one on the left is more... um. Yeah, I'm thinking fantasy. The one on the left is more in line with what's on vanilla. Two people voted for fantasy, so that's what we'll go with. Okay. Here we go. So as you can see, it's a little bit different of a shape than what's um, what's here. But, you know. Okay, so let's take this and I'm just going to transform and scale. This will even fit better, I think, than um, this will even fit better. Yeah, that's good. We'll do this. Put this like right about here. I think that's fine. Might change the font. Um, yeah, I think this actually follows the flow of the sign a lot better than the straight shield did. That's just me, but I think it's better. So pen tool. I hate the pen tool with a fucking passion. I mean... I really fucking hate the pen tool because I'm not good with it. Right? Like that's that's mainly why I just I I hate it. Some people are like awesome with the pen tool. I am not.
That's actually a prettier flow. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so now we can like fuck with everything, right? Basically, our whole goal is just tracing, is really all we're looking at doing here. So here, I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna take like red, fill path, and delete path. Nothing jagged, cool. Turn this off, and here I'm gonna get the pen tool one more time. And I'm just gonna just Oops. Okay. Make selection. And I'm going to delete it out of here. Just like that. And that should be good enough for all of us. Okay. Now I got a beer. Boom. Same beer I used before. Do do. Do do. Make it a little bit bigger. All right? Color overlay. And black. For right now, it's going to be black. Okay? We don't have to keep it black. But just for right now, I'm going to use black. And then we can decide our, all of our colors. Okay? Um... This, I can go ahead and do a color overlay of black on it. Rasterize layer style. Cool. Um, on this guy, I'm gonna take this and this. I'm gonna do something like that. And I'm just going to do this. Ah. Fine. Rasterize that. Turn this off. And I'm going to... Let me think. Let's take our pen tool. Uh-uh. It snapped the line. Let's get rid of these. Pen. That's not gonna work. Do it that. Let's do it that way. Give me my arrow.
really think this is the better place to put it. But I'm not 100% sure. Ah. Here I'm going to fill path um, on another layer. Can I do it in black? Delete path. Okay. Actually, let me do this a better way here. There we go. So that will be fine. And then on our circle, on this guy, we just gotta break it here. Hmm. That didn't work too well. This guy didn't work too well. Let me do that one more time. better. Now I just need to break off. So we're going to that cool. Let me go this guy. I think I'm gonna do it with the pen. For somebody who hates the pen, I'm using it a lot. Make selection. Take this out here. There we go. This on. Merge. So that will be our cool fucking logo as a start. How do you like that? Whole thing should be black except for the beer. I would like to see how a red outline. Ooh. True. True. We can definitely see, you know, who knows? So, um, I'm gonna see about, how do we put spikes in this thing? How do we put spikes in here? I'm not sure how to do that. Do we have like a cool, do we have like a cool, like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. A bop. Um, let's get this um, circle here. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it with text. Actually, this. And I'm gonna put it right here. Just like that. Turn it off. No, I want it on, but fill off. That's what I meant to say. 
Cool. And then I can do Sorry. Like that. Yeah. And then I can select all of them and just kind of um, f find different fonts here for like the way different ones look like that that one's cooler looking and then here I'm just going to sorry Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to shrink it. Like that. Boom. Rasterize. We're merge. And we get our bucket. I can get rid of all of these. Now we got thorns, y'all. What? That follow the circle. That's pretty fucking cool. That's pretty cool trick right there. I'm just going to paint one right here. Let's do like a big one. I don't know. Should we do a big one? Let's take that out. Let's do it. I'm not going to do 45. Something like that. Cool. And then the last thing I'm going to do is the same thing again. But I want to do it. And... Just random spacing. Like that. Get our arrow tool. And pull them all to the inside. Just like that. And I will then again merge like so. Get our paint bucket and just fill them in. That was a neat trick. Yeah, yeah. That's looking great. Um, let's try that stroke. So that's what your stroke with the red looks like. take this guy <clears throat> excuse me okay I know it's blue don't cry I'm gonna 
turn off this stroke for right now. So I want this to line up right. And I am going to... There we go. It does look nice with the red. I think, for me, it needs to be thinner. And I'm gonna just choose like a, something like that. That's up to y'all. Um, right now, I'm going to paint this guy up real quick. So, how I do is I just create a layer behind That's all I do, you know? And then I just paint. Turn this smoothing off. We can adjust all the colors later. eraser and just get rid of places where I messed up. That's about it. Just get a nice light gray, like a steel gray. Probably do a little bit better than that, huh? Something like that. There we go. And then a nice creamy frothy top. A little like a burnt yellow, orange kind of off white, beige, but more white than beige. And now it just, it fucking just looks like a beer mug. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm going to brighten it. Oh, well, you know what? So here's the thing is it looks like it needs to be brightened, but you got to remember that we're going to put the, um, this over it, right? So if I put this over it, you'll see that, um, it'll brighten up quite a bit, right? And that kind of gives you an idea of like where you need to be pacing yourself in terms of color and stuff like that. So, all right. So, with that being said, um, I'm not sure on the stroke after just looking at it. Like there's cool parts and then there's parts that I'm like, eh, about, you know? What I could do is you could do something like this and make it like a red, like that if you wanted. If you wanted to do that, you could do it. Right? I'm trying to go as fast as I can so I don't keep you guys for too long. I don't want to keep y'all too long. I like this. Ooh, 
really wanted to get some like yeah I wanted to find some like roses with thorns Okay, I think that'll work. So, I have three options for you. We got just a straight black. We got some more shading, but thorns. And then I've got this that's more vectory looking, but more flowy and no thorns. So, I don't know if I took this here and put this here. I don't know where I'd put it. Possibly something like this. Right, mm, let's get our eraser. Cause we're gonna have to erase these out. We don't need that here. Work on the levels. Um, I'm going to do a warp on this and just pop that out like that. Probably do it up here a little bit. Have it coming out of the side of the sign, you know. Like that. Cool. So it's like that. Take this, transform, flip horizontal. So you could do it like that. All right. So that's one option. Um, I'm kind of partial to this guy. Uh, let's do that again. Let's do select color range. Here. So that's that's pretty cool looking. See where I'd put it. Definitely do something like that. If I did like a puppet warp on it, Try that again. One more time with the puppet warp. Fucking love puppet warp, by the way. Do this. Transform horizontal. Like that. Man, you know, it'd be cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking. That's pretty cool looking.
So. There we go. That's pretty dope. I already know with this guy, I'm going to want to desaturate it a little bit. And just a hair that way. Cool. So I'm going to take these. <clears throat> I'm going to just start merging shit. Get rid of this. This. Do we like the red rose or not? It doesn't matter. We can merge it and we can change the color later. Okay. So this is my beer. Remember. Name your layers. Okay. Merge. Uh, nope, wrong one. This needs to go down here with this guy. Okay, so this is my flower border. These are my bees, because you said I had to have them. This is my rose. Let me get rid of this. Okay, and then... I'm going to click on the rows and I'm going to do me another one of these guys. It's not really centered, so I'm going to use um, this instead. Is that better? I don't know. Not really. Let's do... Give me something else. I'm gonna do... That. I'm just making approximations because I need the center. Cool. Roughly. And then shape. There we go. Like that. And then I can do zero fill. Get this. Um, there we go. Cool. Let us find a cool font. That works for us. Like, I like something that's kind of, like, formal and not happy. Like, like this almost works. Right? That almost works. But I think we can find a better font than that. My inner perfectionist already asking me to ask you to stretch the roses a little bit down towards the mug. I wanted it to surround the blood drop is what I was wanting it to do. Like, and kind of like it's pointing into the beer, you know, like it's kind of like some, some of that. Um, I can definitely shape it more to do, to go down, but I kind of wanted like it to, all be funneling into the beer basically but we can definitely take a look at that real quick here so if i get the um puppet warp right i'll just do it like this i 
we can just pull this down to kind of like match with the handle. So there you go. So font. I want something a little bit more formal and bold. Like that's that's definitely like wine bottle. This is where like my marketing comes in and I start like over like over analyzing the font and it's bad. Oh man, they're kind of like that. It's it's almost it's just it's too <clears throat> um it's just it's too 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 modern right it's just too modern definitely main flower should be black yeah um i'm just thinking when it gets overlaid and when i set it to overlay so um <clears throat> when like uh this right here when i set it to overlay it'll get dark as you can see um, I'll go ahead and change that to black because I agree. But now you can see the red is already darker. So I'm just thinking in overlay mode when it goes into, yeah, when it goes into overlay. So if I make it dark in normal view, it'll be like black when it goes into overlay. So um, anyway, but I can keep it in overlay for you just so you can see what it looks like at this point then. Um, this here. I would, I need to, I know I need to do this. Just take some of this shading out, right? Let me do this. Um, set this to overlay. And then I think, let me do this real quick. Sorry. Click the middle, pull this up. I just want to get this like here. That should work. I just want to get these matched. I think that's good. Now set them to overlay. Here we go. Okay, so the text, too modern. Yes, but looks awesome. But we need something that's like, I don't know. What would Maven Blackbriar use? This is our question to ourself. Footlight's too modern. It's too happy. That's pretty cool looking. I might make that black. I don't know. I don't know. I like it in red. Let me do... I just want to see what this looks like real quick. I didn't want that. Let me get rid of this ellipse here. Don't need it. Okay. This will give me an idea. Oh yeah. That's cool. The beer mug will, but that's cool. Okay. So we're good. I gotta double this up. And merge. 
So to kind of give you a view here, but let me get these um, roses kind of like in the same world as the flower here. Something like that. Do the same for the bees. Uh, no, that's the beer. Bees. Set them to overlay. Set beer to overlay. Cool. <clears throat> now, when I select all these bad boys and select this guy and then do overlay, this is what we're looking at. Okay. Exactly. That's that's the thing, Chris. The 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 rose is is a is a is a beer mug. It's a it's a beer stein. So I'm going to everything that's black. I feel like um might just do like a little bit more on it. Like that. Beer needs to be less saturation. Like that. Okay. Um, this is all cool. The Blackbriar Meadery needs a stroke on it in black. Set to overlay. Like so. Now, I mean, let me ask you a question here. If you fucking like were at a bar and you saw this as a beer label, you'd be like, I need to try this beer, please. <laughs> May I have that beer? May I please try that? Thank you. I want to do, um, I just had an idea. I'm sorry, I know. I know. I'm over, but I don't care right now. I just want to do this. I want to see what it looks like. It might be too much. I think it might be too much. It'll be too much, and I don't care. Because I have done things where I'm like, oh, I wish... Like, I, I did it, right? And, like, I made the sign, and then I'm like, with, like, 30 minutes later, have, like, this idea, and I'm like, Sit. Ah, shit. And I'm like, I'm not doing that hour of work again. Even though this one is taking me a lot longer than an hour. Mm hmm Uh, 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 uh. uh. Just want to even the weight out, right? Um, no, nah, it's gonna be the saturation. I just felt like there was something that needed to be in that gap. 
So what do we think? Love, hate. What do we think? Do we want a different font? Do we want the same font? You like it? You like the font? Hey, Vixie, I didn't say hi to you. Okay, if y'all are sure. Oh, well, the colors are gonna be red and fucking black. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw it on a sign. Okay, so let's just do save as a copy to our desktop, vanilla signs, textures. Oh wait, we already have one open right here. Get rid of you, bye. This, I'll keep. This can go away. Um, this can stay, this can go, this can go, this can go, this can go. Somebody said something about the blood drop. What did you want to say about the drop? If you could repeat yourself, I'm sorry, but I forget what you said. Somebody said something about this drop into the beer. Save as a copy. Vanilla signs, textures, clutter signage, Riften. This one. That's fine. Give me... What is this? Fantasy shield? Yeah. And then this goes save as a copy to the same place. Color alpha final linear. Now, let's get rid of this guy. Let's pull this guy open, right? Uh, this guy is using texture set four. So all of these are gonna use texture set four. Cool. So now I can just get rid of these. Save. Now, let's go ahead and check out what our sign looks like. Um, here. Drop looks pale. Ah, oh, it's already in the beer. Yeah. I, I like the tense and like the anticipation of it dropping in the beer. Tad bolder darker. Yeah. We can definitely take a look at that. Let's do level. Sorry. So that's just black. You can't see anything through it. I want to see some of the wood texture behind it. Right? Like some of the wood texture. Um. There you go on that. I didn't even notice the rose up here, so I'm gonna take it out. Cause I did not even notice it. So there's a bit bolder on that. The beer, I'm still going to just, I'm gonna darken it up a little bit and just desaturate it even more. Cause I really just don't want it like cartoon brown beer, you know? Um, let's see what it looks like with some aging. I'm going to be very careful with the aging on this one. Like super duper careful. Like not much aging at all.
And let's put all of these in a folder because it's a lot easier to do that. There we go. Just like that. That's all I want. Oh, that's a good call. I could do another B, couldn't I, Chris? I like that. Fucking good idea. Fuck yeah. Um, why isn't that looking right? I'm gonna leave that out because there's something wrong with it. Is it because it's not set to overlay? What am I doing here? There it is, thank you. All right, everybody call the ball. I'm not 100% on the font. But, you know, if y'all like the font, I'll keep it. But I'm not 100% on the font. <laughs> We're gonna create a whole backstory in this, aren't we, Leo? If y'all are new here, if y'all are new here, hit the like button for me if you would. We tried to do 35 likes, but we'll settle for 30. Nah, we, we, I like the red drop. I do like the red drop. If it was all black, there would be like no contrast. No contrast. I like the letters in red. It is that contrast that I really, really, really do like. Um, when it comes to the font though, I'm having a real hard time coming up with one. Like, I'm not happy with any of these fonts. At all. That's actually not bad. I'm, I'm okay with that one. I'm okay with that one.
That one actually looks pretty good. If I do... What do we, I like that. I like this font better. That's much more legible. And I got it to where like the line goes in between the letters. But I like that better. I'm so glad I don't have to do a normal map with this also. There we go. Yeah. I think I'm going to keep it like this. I think we're going to keep it like this right here, y'all. I'm sorry if it does not suit you, but I do like that. Let's pop this fucker. looks good. That's crazy scary looking and I love it. That's just intimidating. That's what that is. That is intimidating. quick. Fifty and one. Set it to wood. So now you can shoot it with arrows and the arrow will stick in it. There we go. Close. Don't need to save that. Um this can all go away. This one. This can go away. So we didn't do the fish sign mesh, and that's fine. But we did the black bar metery win. I just need to set the mesh up for the fishery, and it's ready to go. Um, thank you very much, Volter. Um, 
and now and then once so once we set the fishery sign up all the signs in Riften are done except for the orphanage um which I guess I can do I'm it's not a, it's not an issue you know it's just a metal it's just me exporting it's just a flat metal texture on a height map and throw it on there and it's done um so then all of Riften will be done at that point it's three signs it's the bar sign and the general store sign for Markarth and the Sleeping Giant Inn, which is it. Which we can do tomorrow night together if you want. So, very good stuff. The fishery, oh yeah. I feel like the letters could be bigger. But they're going to be tall but narrow letters if I do it that way. Just because Black Briar Meadery is so fucking long. But you can read it. I think the red for the letters almost need to be black. Yeah, so it's hard with the letters going in a circle because if I make the letters bigger, the circle, you, you, you get to the point where I'll show you. So this is kind of like where we're, where we're looking at here with the letters. Okay. If the letters get bigger. They end up like touching here at the bottom. Right? If they get bigger, they just keep until they form a circle. And I agree that we definitely should do something about the words. Everything else on the sign I love. The letters I don't. Okay. Not a bad suggestion. Definitely do something like that. Um, I can try and make this bigger like that. And maybe that will allow us to have bigger letters. Right? I can just keep going up in scale on this thing. See if I can get it to where it'll be like in between the letters. Now it's kind of cutting in up here. That's what I was trying to avoid. Was the I, I wanted to keep the letters below this line, but that's more centered. Um. So there's there's. Spacing, right? So I can do sp like a spacing difference, which is pretty Q. Um, then there's font height. This doesn't really mean anything. And then there's line height.
I mean, that's that's pretty that's pretty big. Chardero, I love you. Good night. I like the black with the red outline better. I'm okay with that. I want to know if I can do this. I want to put this up. No, I want this up here. This and this. I think I'm going to see if I can just pull this down a little bit. Like that. Like that. Put the beer under there. Like that. Yeah, you heard him. <laughs> That's actually not bad. This is not bad. This is better. Yeah, I'm I'm I was just I was literally just thinking about that. Something like that. I agree. It's a bit more centered now. It looks a lot better. The lines go basically between the letters. Briar's not cut off. This is a bit better. Um feel like the stroke should be just like at two. I am going to, with this color overlay, I'm going to go a bit darker. Basically black. And now let's add our, um, Oh, our beer is not in the folder. Put that beer in the folder, shall we? There we go. And now it all has that painty effect, which basically only shows up on the blood drop and the beer, but whatever, I'm fine with it. No, I'm not saying this as a PNG. So that, I think, will do me. Yeah, those letters are too small. So here, black biometery, black biometery, there and there. So all we need is just put one texture from the, the the desktop into our game folder, and that's that. The process of making the signs, once you come up with a pipeline, it becomes real snappy. Um, and it's nice. Chris, you make a good point with that. I think you're right. She was much more subdued and, you know, kind of five steps ahead. But I want people to download this mod and see the Black Briar sign and go, shit. There's a lot of subtility in this sign. There's a lot of messaging going on. There's a lot of, um, it's just, it's, A, it's just cool looking, but then B going, yeah, that's, that's, I know where this story is going. Oh yeah. See, that's so much better. So much better. The rose 
I mean, I'm sorry. This is just way, 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 way. Too much. There we go. That's much better. see here one second here okay I think this is it for us thank you Morty Casey thank you Chris thank you Leo Kincaid. Hello, Kincaid. I don't remember saying hello to you, so hello, Kincaid. Welcome. Volter. Has anybody seen Valhalla lately? Perfection. That's a cool sign, everyone. That is a cool sign. That's a cool sign. I am going to screenshot that puppy because that's badass. Compared to like our stupid B and Barb sign. <laughs> this one right here has got some love and attention on it. We put some spank, we, we put some stank on this sign. Doing the black letters with the red outline was clutch. Um, I like the font. I like the faded colors on it. Because it just goes well with the aging of the sign. Bright colors sometimes really just don't can mix. Um, it looks really weird when you have bright colors. Like look, like here, look at this. Like all of these faded colors. I like it. The red on that um, banner in the back, the triangle, this, this red right here is, is basically the same fucking color, which is nice. Yeah, the Black Briars, they spent some money on this sign. Get it all hand painted. This sign is as God intended it to be. Yeah, I'm happy with that shit. All day, every day. And let us test our signs. This is how I test them. I just get a bow. Cool. It doesn't flip around. That's what and the arrow sticks in it. So I know that I did it right. <laughs> That's my main thing. And I test it on this side. Perfect. Cool. So the signs are functioning well. And we can do FW10A242 and just see if they swing in the weather. Yep. Are you swinging? Yep, kind of. You're twitching. And you're blowing in the wind? Cool. Everybody's good, man. <laughs> they hired someone then had them killed. Exactly. But what's really great is if you have Skyland Bits and Bobs or Skyland Animated Mead Bottles, you get a very similar logo on the bottle. 
so the sign and the bottles will match up. Anyway, that's badass looking sign. That's gonna get some attention. It's very subtle, low key, but it sends a message. It sends a message. So with that being said, oh snap, Chris just thought of something. So with that being said, I want to say thank you for joining me on this super extra late stream. Yep. Yep. Blackbriar Reserve has a label also. It's the same label. I want to say thank you for joining the stream. Thank you, Brandy and Vixie, for moderating. I want to say thank you to all of the members who showed up tonight. Your name will be displayed at the end of this video. Um, if you're not a member, join up now. Uh, make sure that you like the stream on your way out. Share it with your friends and family. Have your grandma check it out. She might like it. Um, hugs, Vixie. Vixie, I, I want to play some Boulder's Gate 3 with you. I would like for you to teach me how to play Boulder's Gate 3, if you would, please. If not, maybe we can jump on some ESO together sometime. Um, but yes, huggles to everyone. Love you so much. Thank you. It's been... Super fun and very entertaining, um, very entertaining stream, I think. It's been a very entertaining stream. Uh, just, you know, collaborating together and taking a look at everything. I'm going to go ahead and put in the Skyrim photos. I'm going to drop in that sign that we just did for Blackbriar. Hit you up. I'm so afraid that, like, you're going to be, like, too busy. I don't want to, like, bother you. That's the thing. I don't want to bother you, Vixie. That's that's my deal. Is that bad? No, that's not bad. I just don't, you know. I know you're busy. Anyway, thank you very much. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow night at 9. Maybe I'll let y'all know in the Discord if we're going to stream tomorrow night or not. Okay? But we only have three more signs to go. And then we can release this mod. I can't wait for you all to try it out. Anyway, thank you very much. It's been emotional. I'll see you all later. Hit me up in the Discord, and we'll talk soon. Bye.